equation of lines. If I have a slanted line, in other words, it's not vertical, it's not horizontal. Everybody know what I'm talking about here? It either looks like that, positive slope, or it looks like that, negative slope. If I have a slanted line, it's not vertical, it's not horizontal. It has both x's and y's in the equation. Everybody hear that? It has both x's and y's in the equation. So for instance, ladies and gentlemen, if you just see the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6, what do you know about that line? It's a slanted line. What, how do I know? It's got x's and y's. If you see an equation that has both x's and y's in it, a slanted line. All right, this guy. What do you know about that guy? What do you know about this guy? It's a slanted line. It's got x's and y's in it. Okay? If it's got x's and y's in it, slanted line. No matter what form it appears, it's got x's and y's. It's a slanted line. Which brings us to these two guys right here. Obviously not a slanted line. Obviously not a slanted line. We want to come up with the equation of this line right here. And we're going to do it in a particularly brilliant way. I'm going to look at some more points. Here's a point, 0, 4, 4, 4, here's negative 2, 4, and here's 7, 4. Let's see, negative 2, 4, 0, 4, 4, 4, negative, I'm sorry, 7, 4. Why do you notice about every single point on that line? What about 4? The y is 4. Did you notice that? Every single point on that horizontal line, the y value is 4. What do you think the name of this line is going to be? Y is 4. That's the name of the line. The name of the line is y is 4. That's the equation of the line. How about that? Every single point has a y that's 4. Y is 4, y is 4, y is 4, y. And y is always 4. So it's no surprise that the name of the line is y is 4. We're going to use an equal sign instead of is, because it's mathematics, right? y equals 4. That's the equation of the line. Notice, no x's and y's in this equation, just y's. And here's our general observation. If I have a horizontal line, the equation is going to be y equals some number, every single time. Got a horizontal line? Y equals some number. Hey, is it negative 2 down? Y equals negative 2. Is it negative 7 down? Y equals negative 7. Is it 15 up? Y equals 15. It's always going to be Y equals something if you got yourself a horizontal line. That's 3 by 5 parts. You know why it's 3 by 5 parts? It's not obvious. Hey, a horizontal line is parallel to the x axis, and yet it's got a Name y equals something. Probably not something I'm going to naturally remember unless I write it down. <clears throat> Check out this vertical line. I already have a couple of points. Negative 3, 0, negative 3, 6. How about negative 3, 4? Negative 3, negative 4. What do you notice about every single point on that vertical line? What about negative 4? I'm sorry, negative 3. X, X is negative 3. Did you notice that? Every single point? X is negative 3. X is negative 3. X is negative 3 on every single one of them. So what do you think the name of this line is? X equals negative 3. Got it. X equals negative 3 is the equation of that line. And in general... Every single vertical line is going to have the equation x equals something. Depending on where it is in location with the, uh, with the origin. It'll be x equals something. 
Here is a good 3 by 5 card summary of information. Horizontal line. Slope is uh, zero. Equation is y equals some number. Vertical line. Slope is undefined. Equation is x equals some number. See how, how uh, distilled that information is? Get a little bit of information to have in. Everybody okay so far? Alright. Here's where we're going to start with the Sherlock Holmes step. I'm going to give you some clues about what the uh, equation of the line is, and you're going to solve the mathematical rule. Here's where we're going to start. I'm going to give you five scenarios. They're going to be increasingly further removed from the important information, so you have to kind of take progressive steps to get back to the important information. We're going to be finding the equation of a line when I give you certain bits of information. I'm going to start with the simplest one. I'm going to actually give you the slope and the y-intercept. Now the form of the line I want you to present back to me is this. y equal mx plus b. I don't want it in standard form, 2x plus 3y equals 7 or something. I want it in y equals 4. Alright, let's say the slope is 4 and the y-intercept is 7. Can you tell me the equation of that line? y equals 4x plus 7, absolutely. So all you have to do is substitute for 4 right there, and substitute for B right there, and you're finished. Y equals 4X plus 7. And the guy named Watson sitting next to you says, elementary. He was actually a doctor. Physical doctor. Okay there? Hey, I just gave you the slope and the line intercept. There, I'm finished. Let's do a little bit more subtly here. Uh, slope is negative 2. Have I given you the y-intercept? Yes, I have. I've given you the y-intercept in a different form, haven't I? Any point on the uh, any point with the x that zero is on the y-axis, so that's a y-intercept in a different form. So what's the equation of the line? y equals? Negative 2 x. That's it. Okay. Try one more. Who's got it? I see those hands. Okay. What'd you get? Negative three. Make it y equal negative three? Oh, yeah, that must be right. Okay. Yes, that's right. Y equal negative three. So did you substitute zero for m? You just, what'd you do? Tell me what you're thinking. And? And uh, every horizontal line has an equation? Y. Y. Hey, very good. So she used 
logic rather than the actual algorithm itself. You could use the algorithm and go, okay, I'm going to put that in for m, that in for b, y equals 0x plus the negative 3, that's just 0, y equals but you used the information you already knew about anything that's got a slope of zero. It's a horizontal line. Every horizontal line, y equals. Fill in your y, and you got your answer. Very good. And that's the first one. That's kind of the, uh, the simplest. That's kind of like the duh category of these questions. Of course, if you give me the slope of the y-intercept, I just fill it in, and I got the answer. Try this one. <laughs> Slope at a point. And this point is not the y-intercept. It's just a generic, friendly point on the line. Notice what I gave you. I gave you the slope of the line, and I gave you a point. This is not the y-intercept. That's not the y-intercept. That would have to be zero to be the y-intercept. So I've just given you a regular old point and the slope of the line. Now, if I haven't told you this before, let me mention it. Every one of these scenarios goes back to y equals mx plus b. Every scenario goes back to y equals mx plus b. Question about this guy. About it, Kenneth? How many variables are there in y equals mx plus b? Uh, two. 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 <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask you another one. Ready? How many letters are there in that third? <laughs> Four. Every letter is a variable. Every letter stands for something that can change. It's a variable. All right. How, many, how much information, how many of these guys can I fill in for right now? Three. I'm sorry, what? Zero. How many can I fill in for? What's the information? Two. Three. Three. One. Two. <laughs> Two. Two. Said, that's two. Poor you guys that say three. What are y'all getting? It's two. Wow. Oh. A point is in fact an X. Oh fuck. Three. You've met Sherlock Holmes before, haven't you? So that's an X. And that's an X and a Y. That means I have three of the four variables, which means I can solve for the fourth one. So let's fill in for m, y, x, and all I have left to find is b. So 7 is y, m is 2, x is 1, plus b. This is going to work. 7 equals 2 plus b, subtract 2, b is 5. And ladies and gentlemen, as soon as I get B is this and M is that, I'm right back to scenario number one, or right. Because I got the slope of the wire set. I'm there. So what's the equation of the line? 2x plus 5. Y equals 2x plus 5. Okay with that? Do another one. I'm going to give you the slope and a point. So 
Thank you for your contributions and short kids.